In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Zoom and PowerPoint in order to automatically transcribe and translate your presentations to help you better reach your English second language students. Right now, with so much learning and teaching going on remotely, students are home with families, especially K-12 students, but even some higher ed students are home with families and parents and siblings and everyone are collaborating and kind of working together to get through this. And so if you are a teacher, particularly a teacher working with K-12 students who might be at home getting help with their parents who may or may not speak English, this video is for you. We can automatically translate our presentations into different languages using PowerPoint and Zoom. And so I want to show you exactly how to do that. So let's hop into Zoom. Okay, so here we are in Zoom and we're ready to do a presentation. Let's go ahead and go to PowerPoint and make sure our settings are set up correctly first. So here in PowerPoint, on the heading bar, you want to navigate to Slideshow. And this, it's important to note that this is with Microsoft PowerPoint version 16 and higher and Microsoft um, Office 365 are the versions that have this feature. So if you go to your PowerPoint and you don't have it, try to get upgraded to the newest, latest, greatest version because this will make a difference for you and your students. Once you're here, what you want to do is come over here to captions and subtitles. And you want to make sure always use subtitles is clicked. And under subtitle settings, you want to make sure that your language is labeled as the spoken language. It defaults to English, United States. And so, but you can change your default language over here. Then you want your subtitle language. The default again is English. However, what I want to show you is not only will PowerPoint automatically close caption and transcribe your presentation, it will also automatically translate it. And so I'm going to show you how we do that. So let's head back to Zoom. We're going to share our PowerPoint and we're not going to put it as our virtual background because this technique does not work if you're using PowerPoint as a virtual background. So we're going to go to share screen. You're going to choose your PowerPoint and you're going to share it. So now within here, now that you're here, you're going to actually, and this is important, you have to go into slideshow mode. So you're going to go slideshow from beginning or wherever you're at. And now you can see as I am talking to you, it is automatically transcribing what I'm saying. So this English to English is already pretty powerful. So if the majority of your students are native English speakers and you just want to help them have the ability to follow along with some written text, this is a great feature. Now, one problem with this method is unfortunately, you cannot download the transcription afterwards. So PowerPoint and Microsoft, if you're listening, please give us the records of the transcription of our presentations. So here we are, but what we can do is actually right within our PowerPoint, so maybe we make the point and we say, this is Zoom Lecture Alternatives, a higher ed workshop. And maybe you wanna reiterate that point for your Spanish speaking audience or your English second language audience. If you navigate to your PowerPoint and you come down here to the three dots under subtitle settings, you can go to more settings and choose the subtitle language as any number of these other languages, which is really, really powerful. For me, and what's most relevant to my students, we teach at a Hispanic serving institution at Chico State. So majority of them who are English second language are actually going to have Spanish as their native language. So I'll click Spanish and I'll press OK. And now what it will do is it'll automatically start to transcribe what I'm saying and translate it into Spanish. So now if I were teaching students who are at home working with their parents and their parents were trying to help 
them through my curriculum, or maybe you're trying to get a message to the parents, this will automatically translate for you. So really, really powerful. Or maybe you're working with another type or another uh, setting of students. Here at Chico State, the Hmong group is really large as well. So you can see that we actually have Hmong here. And so I can press OK and it will start translating it from English into Hmong. And the possibilities here are really profound. So I really encourage you to use this to your benefit and your students' benefit to help better reach your students wherever they're at and whatever language they speak. I would love to hear how you're gonna use this in your class. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and share it to as many teachers, professors, lecturers, adjuncts, anyone you know that is teaching over Zoom, this could make the difference for them and their students. We'll see you in the next video.